Hello and welcome. Let me be the first to congratulate you on your admissions to Syracuse University School of Architecture graduate program. We're joined uh, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, depending on which time zone you're joining us from, uh, by our uh, program coordinator for the uh, MS DEF program, Professor uh, Wong Fei, uh, Brian Lonsway, our graduate chair, our program manager, uh, Lauren Mintier, our program manager from the MS Red program in New York City, Esther Flame, uh, and one of our graduate students, students who recently graduated, so an alum at this point, uh, Sienna, uh, I'm sorry, Sienna, I'm going to butcher your last name. Who's, who, you tell me. It's got <laughs> Sorry, sorry, thank you kindly. No, um, we're going to pre uh, begin our presentation with Professor Wong Fei, uh, giving you information about the program. At any point, please feel free to type into the chat. Uh, we will get to your questions um, at the end. And you know, uh, there's enough of us here that uh, if I see something that is very relevant to what Professor Wong Fei is presenting, I may interrupt him and ask him to answer it at that point. Uh, and then, you know, at, at the end, we probably can even mic in and ask our questions. And so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Professor Wang Fei. Thank you. Thank you, Victoria. And congratulations to every one of you. And I'm going to start to share my screen. Uh, congratulations. And it's so great to see you guys. And some of you guys, you already attend our uh, previous open houses. And this is uh, newly admitted students uh, uh, event. And so this year is a quite different year for us. And Syracuse is located in the beautiful upstate New York. It's a top ranked research university. The university has the traditional campus. Last spring, we celebrated our uh, centennial of the university, which is 150th anniversary. And this is uh, President Biden, alumnus of the big orange family. And we are looking forward to more kind of change um, for the war. And, and we have very, very beautiful campus, but maybe not right now, and, but still beautiful. And this is a, uh, this is a, 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 a hall of the language in the center of the, at the, the front entrance. And this is a spring. And this is a summer or fall or late summer. And, this is the winter. It looks like uh, what's going on right now. And uh, so our university has uh, experienced quite a lot of change. And we had a new master plan a couple of years ago, a lot of ongoing uh, process. And this is a newly finished uh, National Veteran Research Com Complex designed uh, design by SHOP uh, from New York City. It was finished last, uh, um, last spring. And, uh, Architecture school has done a lot for this building and uh, for that, and we were also in Syracuse in the city. And we have two buildings designed by the very famous the modernist uh, architect I.M. Pei. And one is his first uh, uh, museum project and Everson Museum. And two years ago, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of this building. And that's the photo with the Dean and Associate Dean. And also in the campus, we have a second IMP building as a new house one. Uh, it's also uh, a top ranked uh, uh, school of uh, public communication and journalism. And also in the, uh, uh, not far from the campus, we also have a center of excellence designed by Toshikomori. Also another Toshikomori project and also next to our architecture school building. On the left, that's architecture school. On the right is the uh, uh, School of Engineering. And also in the campus, and we have another project designed by also former, I uh, forgot to mention, Toshikomori was the uh, former architecture chair in, in, in GSD Harvard. And this is also by the former uh, architecture chair, uh, Mark Scorgin. And Ernie Davis Hall, also uh, uh, quite across the street uh, from architecture school, is a very interesting uh, cafeteria and also the residence hall. And also the newly built uh, School of Law uh, about five years ago. And in the campus, we have a ma many, many amazing um, uh, majors and also uh, uh, student organizations. And when you are here, you won't be alone. 
And this is a uh, uh, Slocum home. This is architecture school's uh, our home base. And uh, architecture, uh, Syracuse architecture constantly ranked among the top school of architecture in the US. Syracuse school is celebrating 108th anniversary this year, soon to be 150th again, and as well. And uh, our five-year undergrad program um, is constantly ranked in top five. And our graduate program, and including MRC MS, is ranked also very, very top. And uh, also, um, during the past years, our dean, Michael Speaks, was ranked um, among the top five most admired educators three times. And also, the MS uh, was ranked number seven in the US, number 22nd globally by best architecture masters uh, postgraduate program in 2019. And also in the uh, uh, design intelligence ranking in the focus areas, there are five areas will rank uh, among the top 10. Syracuse architecture is the fourth oldest architecture school in the US. Syracuse uh, uh, Architecture School is, is celebrating 148th anniversary. So it's very, very old and we have a long tradition. We have very successful professional degree built upon uh, largely on the curriculum development over history. But the world of practice and the world at large are changing. And we as a school must adapt and evolve to stay ahead of those changes. With so many professors, also practicing and also with with practicing with practice involved with internships fellowships and other school programs the relationship between architecture profession and architecture schools is today more interdependent than any other time in history as syracuse architecture we focus on providing a design education that meets the demands of contemporary architecture practice and those demands come from two similar opposite directions there is increasing demand for specialization for architects with special skills and expertise. And there is also an increasing demand for flexibility for architects who has professional skills, but also adaptable to the ever-changing nature of contemporary practice and ever-changing job marketplace. So in the book uh, published a couple of years ago, The Architecture School, Three Centuries of Educa Education Architects in, in North America, and our Syracuse architecture professor, Mark Linder, discussed the three disciplinarity of architecture for the current trend you can see here. So centric, disciplinary, and interdisciplinary, and transdisciplinary. In our school, we have all three of them. So let's, let, me, let me introduce uh, a couple of uh, uh, very famous uh, uh, Syracuse architecture alumni. And so on the left is Nico Doso who's in charge of the One Water Center uh, by SOM. On the right side is Anna, uh, Annabelle Saldo. Uh, and her office is specialized in the high-end art spaces and the private residential architecture. They also did uh, several amazing unconventional projects, including wastewater treatment facility in Berkeley, and also the Forbidden City uh, renovation in Beijing. And Alton Cho is a vice president of AE Kong in Greater China. He was a very, very famous uh, 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 professional pop singer in Taiwan while studying in our MRC program. Then after he received our uh, um, the architecture degree and he, he quit singing and he became a professional architect. And Rick Cook is specialized in net zero skyscrapers. And David Rockwell is a stage designer, also architect, interior designer, also entrepreneur. He owns the Rock, uh, Hot Rock Cafe, and he's also in, in New York City, and he also designed the shed in, in Highline in collaboration with the dealer school video. And on the right side is Charles Newman in, uh, in, in, in sanitation infrastructure. So this is an image in Nairobi. And also the, the duet, the couple, uh, the uh, Avanka office Moss, uh, the founder Hilary Samper and Michael Meredith. Um, uh, besides practice, they both are teaching in Princeton and Columbia. And uh, so our architecture education has a very wide range of architecture uh, practice and research. As a way to address the demand of greater, greater specialization, 
Um, six years ago, we created a new Master of Science in Architecture program, aka MS program, with several specialized uh, uh, courses of study. So the first, the first to launch um, is our uh, BEF and Design Energy Future programs, and which focus on the energy and built environment with research and design pro projects ranging from many scales, from urban design to high performance buildings, from VR to computational simulation, to building material research and uh, product design, and across a wide of range of uh, disciplinary and practice areas. And since uh, 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 students who enter the program, mostly you have existing professional degree, and no matter in architecture or urban design or landscape or engineering. And we have greater freedom to focus on the real world projects and develop partnership and relationships with the industry and professional practice leaders. And uh, those are some of the uh, quick examples of our um, uh, studio projects uh, during the past uh, five to six years. So low carbon uh, city uh, research and design and in the beginning and the city for the future and the wetland urbanism and the waste, uh, waste management. Waste management. Since uh, the beginning, Design Energy Futures has worked in a close collaboration with Institute Building Research in Shenzhen, China among the world leading research institutes focusing on energy and green building and uh, low carbon city. Design Energy Futures is, uh, is a prototype for our specialized MS in architecture program, but it, also, it is also a prototype or research-based program model in close relationship to the industries and the real world practice. So this is our workshop in Shenzhen uh, five years ago. Those are the uh, photos uh, as uh, our visits to world leading offices during our uh, past year, including SOM, South of Architects, and Ideat, Field Operations, and West Aid. And on the uh, top left corner is the Newtown Creek Wastewater Facility in New York City. That's the uh, uh, largest one in, in the US. In the research model, professors are assisted by the MS students, many of them who have professional uh, experience. So every year we have MS students studying here. Um, they are pursuing their second master degree. So the research model has uh, uh, a center and, and research professors working on projects founded by the industry, municipalities, or conducted in collaboration with research institutes or research-based architecture or planning offices. So those are some of the examples of our uh, professors, uh, uh, MS professors research. Uh, on the left, that's, uh, uh, that's me, and I have a, a kind of a post-industrial uh, re regeneration um, projects and also urban design projects. And in the center is uh, Professor Chris Meyer and Batash, and they have uh, the interactive design and visualization app lab. On the right side is Professor Dequan Park, and uh, he's uh, focusing on a lot of kind of uh, innovative material studies. And MS program also enables the school to create and fund research clusters that help our school to develop a more robust research profile and provide our students greater variety of research and professional opportunities to intervene in and, 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 and change our communities, cities, and regions, indeed the whole world. In research, uh, recent MS research seminars, the, there are so many different workshops. Um, we have the past, the workshops include uh, energy modeling, the urban modeling, and the parametric design, and the uh, uh, storyboard research, and et cetera, et cetera. And also every semester, and we have amazing lectures line up, lectures and symposiums. And those are the posters on the left. That's the last uh, fall. On the right side is this, uh, this spring. And those are the posters uh, in the past. In STEM, 
So STEM is uh, something very, very important for our school. Uh, probably we are still one of the very, very few schools. We have all our uh, undergrad program and two uh, uh, graduate program, MARC and MS. We both had a, a STEM certificate. So which means um, after you graduate and you'll be able to uh, work in the US up to uh, three years with your student visa. And also you will have three, uh, three chances to, to win a lottery for uh, the work, work, uh, H-1B work visa. And although our MS program is very new, uh, only just uh, uh, six years old, and our program has re received many national and international recognitions by our MS publications, and uh, prestigious international exhibitions and students design and research awards. So I will walk you through our MS students work during the past years. So in the beginning, we'll work on the low carbon CD. And this is a research and the publication we work with uh, uh, other four schools, including Harvard University, Columbia University, University of Cincinnati and University of Hong Kong. We had a big symposium and we have uh, uh, five volumes of publication. And in the following, uh, 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 in the first uh, uh, one and a half years, we work on the low carbon cities on different kind of topics, including uh, post-industrial regeneration and uh, urban village and uh, um, uh, future uh, uh, skyscrapers. And we made uh, publications and also exhibitions. And this is one of the studios. And this project is on the mixed use of high rise research facility in low carbon city, which is a real world international design competition we use at the, our studio topic. And our team of three MS students and two Korean and one Taiwanese students, and they won the second prize and in all of the competition and with uh, 30,000 US dollars in cash. So this is only student team among the top five awards. And we continue working on the uh, uh, low carbon city for, for a couple of semesters. And in, in 2007, uh, 27, uh, 2017, and we work on the urban village project in, in Shenzhen. And uh, also we invited uh, Professor uh, Meng Yan and the very famous Shenzhen-based architecture firm, Abanas, who was also the chief curator of 2017 Shenzhen Hong Kong by city urbanism and architecture Binali. The Binali is, is on the urban village and also the exhibition site is also in urban village. In uh, the two studios of uh, undergrad and grad and students, they all mix together. Work on and urban issues. And you can see the diagrams here. And we're always trying to create the, the very kind of a, a, a systematic kind of research and design. And our MS team, they work on the waste management in the urban village, which is an amazing project. Then every single project was great enough to be selected by the curator to be shown in the site and where our research is also on the site as well. So we have a larger space, it's about uh, 2,000 square feet to show all our students work. And at the same time, we also publish our students work in, 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 the, in the catalog. Uh, from uh, four years ago, we started working on the newly established capital city of China um, outside Beijing, Xinhuan, which projects to be the future city model of green city. We focus on the system of problem um, from our own, from social, political, economic, environmental, and technological aspects. And then the, the team, they work on many uh, various issues, including, uh, including the uh, housing and, and wetland issues and high-tech companies, respectively. We were also invited to show our work in Venice Benali 2018. 
And also we were shortlisted in the Architectural University Award by the European Culture Center. And then we were invited to show in the New York AIA Annual Convention 2018 and also World Intro uh, Innovation and Entrepreneurship Expo 2018. And the following years with other kind of new work coming up, we were invited to show our work in the So Biennale of Architecture Urbanism 2019, two years ago. And we were invited to show our new research and design for this, uh, 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 this coming fall, 2021, in So Biennale of Architecture and Urbanism. And last year, uh, no, actually one and a half years ago, uh, at the end of uh, 2019, and we were also invited to show our work again in Shenzhen Biennale of Architecture. It's sort of the, we have our own pavilion, and uh, we also made a, a documentary film to uh, show our work during the past three years. And also it's, it's a great celebration. Then, then the Dean Michael Speaks gave a, a keynote speech. Uh, it's a, a, a intelligent city versus smart city. So we're trying to create more kind of intelligent city rather than just a smart city. So that's, that was a great lecture. In, uh, um, in the, in the past, uh, yeah, actually that's the ce that's celebration during the past uh, sort of uh, three and a half years. So almost every single studio we create a catalog and and to uh, show how great our work is. And, uh, and so all the students, you can you can have a publication in hand rather, uh, right just uh, uh, after you finish the semester. And uh, we have a quite great uh, variety during the past years. And also we were invited to work on the real project in Xiongwan over the, the, the summer from 2017 and in the past three summers and with our MS team. And we live in Xiongwan and also we work on, on the 6 million square feet, very complicated mixed use uh, uh, community project. And at the same time, our students then they renovate several courtyard houses and give architecture lectures and workshops to high school students engaging with the community. And you can, re you can read the story in our MS page. Uh, and also the past year, it was a very difficult year, but even during that kind of difficult time and we were working remotely with Xiongan and with all our MS team, seven students working together uh, also plus the two uh, BARC students. And uh, so this is a, a two mile long street renovation project, regeneration. And we work on the master plan and several key projects, including the double spiral observation tower and two shipping containers, community center, and recycling kind of brick wall and the overall branding and graphic design also is part of our, um, part of our team's work. And uh, it, it was just completed in the December. It was a very complicated and very difficult project as well. So on the left, you can see the construction of the double spiral observation tower. On the right side is uh, it's a sort of a com complete uh, uh, structure. But in the end, on the right side is full of wrap of the, the, the uh, LED screens. And it's very, very interactive. And this is uh, this view from the center. It's sort of like the, the, the vessel in, in Highline, but much smaller scale, but it's, it's sort of different, but it's a double, it's double spiral. And uh, also it's quite in, interactive with the, with the local community. And also those are the two community centers we designed by the, uh, with the shipping containers. And also there are many, many other projects, including the chairs and, and the recycling brick walls, et cetera, et cetera. And we had a big celebration in December. And also you can read the story in our MS page on the, on the right side. And, and also during the, uh, 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 I think during the past two or three summers, and we were invited to attend a design uh, build competition along with uh, two other uh, uh, 20 international uh, architecture schools. Our graduate students, they work on the site for 14 days and we use the local material 
to uh, build a very simple structure to create a constellation inside a haystack. And it's like a, a Van Gogh's and, and, and Monet's, uh, the uh, impressionist painting. And it's really, uh, from outside, it looks like it's a, it's a haystack. And but actually you can, you can get in, but with a very simple geometry, very simple structure. And uh, uh, you also, you can read this from our MS page. And this is a, 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 a this is very interesting project because the entrance almost everyone you have to bend bend in to get in, including uh, when the juries they were all the famous uh, architects and, and and deans and chairs they were they were trying to evaluate the works and they have to bend down to get in to, to experience that to show the, the the very very humble to the nature. And then in the end, we won the second place and uh, among all the 21 um, and teams. And but actually our, our project, we have a lowest budget among all the 21 teams. And, and uh, 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 two years ago in the summer 2019, we were also invited to uh, join the second uh, time for the design build competition. And, and in the end, we won the third place. And also uh, Solid Castling 2020, also last year, a team of our kind of uh, architecture uh, school also with uh, uh, SUNY uh, ESF, and they have placed in the top in the last year's US Department of Energy Solid Castling Design Competition. Um, and that's the competition inspire student teams to design and build high efficient and innovative uh, projects empowered by renewable energy. The combined Syracuse, uh, Architect Syracuse Arch uh, University plus the SUNY ESF uh, uh, team and it's, uh, uh, it's called the uh, Syracuse uh, Energy Efficient Design, SEED, S-E-E-D. And the team just uh, uh, was judged one of the top four out of uh, 18 teams in the mixed use multifamily division and award an, an our mention award. And for their project, our home at Smoky Hollow. And our team, uh, MS team include Sana and Sana uh, Gakus and Sana is here and, and probably she can share the experience with you guys later. And, and Bet Yuan Mishrap and uh, Carol uh, uh, Picacho and some others uh, also. Um, yeah, so they are, they are with us today. And also you can see the, the group photo. And also you can read the MS, uh, uh, read it from our MS page and we have a, a story about it as well. And a, a thesis, besides MS research studio, research seminar electives. So the final capstone project is, uh, um, is, is, a, is a, uh, you will conclude a degree with the MS capstone project and uh, or mini thesis and independently. Students so, uh, works are so diverse and with so, uh, so much high quality. And two years ago in the, our MS the student, uh, innovation masonry competitions, the student categories only award with 5,000 US dollars in cash. Uh, it is sponsored by the International Masonry Institute in Washington, D.C. And uh, uh, Professor uh, Daquan Park's uh, thesis group uh, two years ago working on the willow glass. And uh, it, uh, also in collaboration with the uh, uh, Corning Glass Museum. Uh, it was such great experience for students to work closely with the industry. And this year, and we have a great news a couple of weeks ago, and this is uh, Metropolis Future 100 and awarded to the uh, top uh, 100 architecture design students in the class uh, uh, 2021. And our MS student um, and uh, Vet Yun Mishra uh, was awarded by, uh, by Metropolis. And you will see the story very, very soon and we will publish that very quickly. And uh, also, uh, uh, and he was also uh, gave talks to um, TEDx uh, Syracuse University. And uh, uh, it was such a great experience for our MS students to have exposure to the, 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 the real world. And they are quite amazing. 
And those are some of the uh, past years, our uh, uh, students' uh, job placement. And uh, they are all in the top uh, architecture offices. And some, uh, um, some are teaching in different, a couple of universities and uh, some are pursuing their PhD degrees. So this is our typical uh, uh, DEF uh, curriculum and courses in yellow are required. And the, the one in, uh, in gray are professional electives and open electives. And uh, in, the, in the first fall and fall 2021, and you have the first, uh, uh, the uh, architecture studio, uh, MS Studio uh, 707. And we'll work on, yeah, I will show you a couple examples. And then the, the first research seminar, uh, 771, on the, uh, to introduce you the basic kind of research methodology. And then the second, uh, in the spring, you would take the, uh, the second research seminar on, on materiality study and uh, then three uh, elective. In the final semester, you will have the capstone project and uh, the final elective. In, uh, in, yeah, I, I have shown you a couple of uh, uh, past years MS Studio already. So this is a studio you, um, we will combine research and design together to help you to generate your own kind of a, a research methodology and also uh, um, design intention. So in the beginning, we will work on the group research and, and we work as a big team to have very, very solid research kind of a, a, a cluster. And in the end, and we will have very, very thick kind of research volume. Then the final design part is and you will re-team again to find your own interest and you will compensate each other to have great projects. In the first uh, research seminar, 771, and it's on the, the basic kind of research kind of uh, uh, types, research methodologies, and with um, several um, workshops to help you to understand the research methodologies. And the second research seminar is on a uh, very, very solid materiality study. And the final capstone project, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's been ranging very, very widely, including urbanism and, and uh, uh, ecological design and the prototypes and uh, um, uh, social studies and material studies. And in the end, we will conclude the the capstone project into a MS symposium to celebrate your work. And, and, and what's more is uh, you will also have the opportunity to receive MS degree with a certificate of advanced study in sustainable enterprise, CASI. The certificate program is offered uh, between the Women's School of Management, the College of in Engineering and Computer Science, and the State University of uh, uh, New York College uh, Environmental Science uh, Forestry, ESF, and the uh, Syracuse Center of Excellence in um, Environmental and Energy Systems. And here is a typical curriculum. You will have three more required courses in blue and uh, replace one elective in, in gray, and then your program will be extended into two years. And I think that's my uh, share with you. And so congratulations again to every one of you. And uh, I hope you can join in our big orange family and uh, we will open to the questions and please feel free to type or, or raise your hand. Or... And I will get back to Victoria. Wonderful, thank you, Professor Wong. Okay. I'm happy to, to entertain questions. You can either raise your hand, you can mic in, you can type a question for us.
Maybe while we're waiting, uh, we'll ask Sina, who just graduated, um, why ask you? Why did you pick us uh, a few year, a year and a half, two years ago? Thank you, Victoria. I would like to talk about that. Uh, so I always knew I wanted to study something related to sustainability, uh, and I decided in, in sophomore year in college. And right before graduating from my undergrad college, I started searching for schools. And as Professor Fei Wang stated, uh, the MS um, in Design Energy Futures have uh, multiple awards and recognition worldwide. So it wasn't really hard for me to uh, find SU and apply. And also uh, probably you, are the uh, only school who really actually uh, make it work uh, with student base. Um, how can I say? So like uh, you really value student and you put us in the focus and you are always trying to be there. So like I took one step, you guys <laughs> took 10 steps towards me. <laughs> and um, I warmed up really, really easily to SU and uh, I didn't even hesitate to enroll for the program after that. Yeah, thank you. And also I see uh, Kefan is here, Kefan Jot, who graduated four years ago. And uh, yeah, I hope he can, Kefan, can you, can you hear me? I hope he can share some of the experience. Oh yes, hi, hello everyone. Hi, hello, hi, hello Professor Wong. Yeah, nice to join you. Yeah, and uh, can you see uh, can you see me now? Yes, very clear. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. So I'm currently in China now, and uh, as Professor Wang mentioned in the previous slides, I'm kind of one of the graduates who joined uh, the firm as showing us. I'm 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 with Perkins. I think he has some uh, uh, connection issue. Probably he can pick up later. So after graduation, Kefan uh, got a job in Parkings Eastman in, in, in Washington, DC. And uh, he's been in charge a lot of uh, uh, projects in relation to uh, sustainability and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, green architecture. And also uh, I think he's on the way to uh, uh, receive his uh, uh, architecture license uh, uh, um, and uh, his one to because it's quite although we are professional degree but he uses uh, a degree in China to uh, 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 apply for the, the, the certificate then finally he got a chance to to take all the exams so so yeah if, if you have the chance probably you always can find a way to to, to achieve it if you have a goal and uh, so he's been he's been quite for amazing students to us and, and very helpful to and also and um, there in this office there are also a couple of SEO students as well and uh, and so also he's been helping our uh, SEO to recruit more kind of uh, students to work in their office that's also quite amazing that the amazing linkage um, I'm multi-level, so I'm very thankful for, for, for Kefan. And I think he, he dropped off <laughs> probably by the bad internet. And yeah, well, while, while, while waiting for the questions, uh, Sana, so can you, can you tell us sort of the, your, your experience in, in, a, in a solar castling uh, competition? Of course, Professor Wang. Uh, so Solar Decathlon is a um, really important international actually competition and uh, a team from Syracuse and uh, SUNY ESF uh, are all like joining every year. Uh, but this year we wanted to um, bring another approach. So what we designed uh, was a re residential unit, uh, adults with ASD. And we had to uh, make it as sustainable as possible because we were working on a low budget. And 
our professors, uh, Dequan Park and Nina Sharifi were kind enough to consult us over the weekends while we were working on the project. So this was a voluntary project we conducted over the weekends. And um, it was us architecture students, MSN architecture students to be specific, uh, students from Syracuse civil engineering department, electrical engineering department, and um, finance and landscape team was from the SUNY ESF. So it was a great interdisciplinary work and we got mentioned, uh, um, we got the honorable mention award. And as now I'm applying for PhD programs and jobs, I'm actually seeing the benefit uh, of the name tag of Solar Decathlon there as well as SU. Um, it's really taught me a lot in terms of uh, multidisciplinary teamwork collaboration and and it was also like the unique part uh, with C team is every year we're trying to touch a social cause and that's really makes the difference. Thank you. I see a few questions in the chat. Um, we'll start uh, in, in chronological order, I suppose. So fall 2021, will the lectures be in person? And Professor Lonsway, maybe you'd like to approach that. Professor Lonsway, are you there? Sorry, I was missing my, my unmute button. Um, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, thank you and, and welcome to everyone. I haven't had a chance to say welcome yet and congratulations, but um, I'm glad you're all able to join us today. Um, uh, and say what a fabulous presentation of the program. I'm always, um, uh, I, I know these things going on, but every time I see them accumulated in this way and hear past stories of students, it's, it's so very exciting to see the, the, the development. Um, so uh, yeah, so in, right now um, uh, in fall 2021, the university hasn't made a formal decision for course delivery. We um, are uh, really pleased at um, uh, how this semester is going and, and feel that with uh, increased uh, vaccinations and um, a, a very rigorous New York State set of policies that um, have kept us quite, uh, quite safe during uh, much of the pandemic as a university. Um, we are feeling uh, confident. We, we had our MS um, read presentation yesterday morning and, and you know, there's confirmation that we are uh, offering classes in a hybrid fashion even this summer there. Um, and, uh, and so uh, we believe that, um, you know, upcoming fall is, the prognosis is good, um, but, um, but we don't want to make any uh, predictions as of yet. So we're, we are planning as we are every um, semester, even for this current semester, a hybrid course delivery. Um, as I mentioned uh, in Syracuse, we're having some great success this semester um, of uh, across all of our graduate programs. We have a very high rate of students who uh, were able to um, uh, attend the United States or, you know, move to the United States if they were abroad, um, move to Syracuse if they were within the U.S. and um, participate in hybrid course delivery. Um, all but one of our design studios are delivered hybrid this semester, which means that if you have the opportunity to be in person or wish to, um, you have a dedicated desk and studio space and, and, and everything in the building. So, um, so again, I, I wish I could answer the question officially at this point. There, there isn't an answer that we can give because we are at service of the university decision making. Um, but, um, but our hope is that yes, in fall 21, or, yeah, fall 21, we will be able to be teaching um, at a very minimum in hybrid uh, capacity. Thank you, Professor Lonsway. Um, of course. So uh, Professor Wang Fei, there's a question here about, um, it's, it seems that many of the projects that you work on are located in China. Uh, do you care to expand on that? Yeah, because I'm Chinese. So <laughs> yeah, so a lot of my, my focus is on Asian cities. And, and also, although I'm in the US, also I, 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 because we are very quite of an international school and we work on multi kind of a diversity and in the past a couple of years and our projects, uh, the final project you can see is in China, but our research is uh, yeah, Pervasana and the Kevan can, can, can give, give uh, additional comments later. So in the first, uh, first uh, one month or one half month and in the MS studio, we work on the global issues. Even uh, last year, we work on the waste issues and 
And uh, the first uh, first project is on all the waste waste types and waste treatment, uh, different um, ways of waste management, and uh, uh, kind of waste management kind of regulations and globally. And then the second research project is working on the uh, uh, the uh, the ways to treat waste management and also architects' role in the globally. And also we visit all the New York City, all the amazing facilities, including the Syracuse, uh, Syracuse amazing kind of waste energy power plant. And then in the end, we, we work together to, to have a global view. And the way to pick a site is, uh, it could be any site. And, but we, we work on the different kind of a, a research methodology to help you. If you have a site, you have the, the, the aspects of A, B, C, D, and what, what will happen. And then you have the aspect of a, a B, C, D, F, G, and then what will happen. And then all the students, they work on uh, the, the collaboration. And, and so on multi-skills, the final part is very, very open. And students work on the, the urban scale or landscape scale and architecture school scale or just material scale. And from that point, probably it can answer some of your, your questions in, in, in the following questions already. It's already to help you to generate your own interest. And although, and, and we are on the same time platform, but actually it's quite, quite diverse. And no matter the site where it is, and the current semester, uh, Professor Sharifi is, uh, is, is teaching uh, the, 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 the MS Studio and the site is in US. So depending on which professor is working on uh, uh, which site. So, but this is the first kind of a, a the, 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 the the research and uh, the MS Studio is really to give you the platform to 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 help you to generate your own kind of language and interest in and also I think I can answer the the following the the, the fourth question because I think Kafan already answered the the third question. Thank you, Kafan. Although probably your 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 video or audio is not working but you can you can text and i think because kofan is has been working for four years and also he has he can he can tell you some story about the job market and then so uh how specific students interest integrate into curriculum so actually so our goal is to uh, to help you to generate your 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 your, your interest to your own language and then from the first semester in uh, uh, the, the, the MS Studio to help you to understand how to integrate design and research. And then the research seminar is to help you to understand different research methodologies to find your own ways of working. And then all the uh, 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 open electives and uh, professional electives, they are the ones for you to tailor into your own interest, your own kind of a uh, 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 a future kind of research topic, because our goal is to see how grateful, how greatly you're in the final capstone project to integrate all the courses you have learned in and, and, and absor absorb in. Because unlike other professional degrees and many, many research kind of uh, many required courses like structure, history, the here, everything is open. All the four electives, they have to be your interest. And otherwise we will help you to generate your own curriculum and which courses is suitable for you. And we'll have a lot of discussions. So in the first semester and from the second semester and you understand, okay, I'm gonna select this course to help me on this because we have uh, open two open electives. They, are, they, they could be anywhere in the university. It could be inside architecture school or could be outside architecture school as well. And students, they, 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 they took the courses in, in school of management, school of engineering, and also ESF. So they will, they will be able to, 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 to understand how to uh, get all the balance between all the different kind of uh, schools and courses, and you, you will help. And Sana, can you give some of the, the, the additional comments on your experience? Of course, Professor Wang, I would love to. Uh, so the mandatory courses you have to take are teaching you the research culture and how to conduct the research properly and how to make a presentation and you put it into practice in our studios. And um, I was interested in urban design uh, in my undergrad. This time I wanted to take courses from the civil engineering department 
because I'm interested in real estate development and construction management as well. So I enrolled some of their courses as my uh, open electives and my professor was happy and shocked <laughs> to see an architect in the class for sure. And it was a great experience for me, but if you wanna stay in the School of Architecture, as Professor Wang stated, you have uh, a great selection of work starting from urban design to VR. And um, I mean, it's really hard to pick in between courses because they're all really interesting. And I'm really sure you can find something that interests you and that supports your career goals. Well, we're reaching the top of the hour here, and so we have time for another question or two. Um, feel free to mic in uh, or or type. Yeah, can uh, Kafan is your internet working? Can you can you say something? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, can, uh, can you all hear me now? Yes. Yeah. You you don't have okay. to open your your video. You, you can just talk. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so I think I was talking about my recent working experience, kind of like my three, my three and a half year uh, at Perkins Eastman. Like, uh, I really appreciate um, kind of the learning experience at Syracuse, kind of, it, uh, it, I really benefited a lot from that. Even before I joined Syracuse Architecture, kind of, I met uh, Dean Michael Speaks and the Professor Fei Wong prior to my arrival in Syracuse, but like back in China, then I learned quite a lot of, uh, about the program and kind of all the curriculum settings and so on. And like where I was starting at Syracuse, I kind of, I was quite amazed by the global reach of Syracuse because I attended um, uh, a couple of like Chinese projects led by Professor Fei Wang and Michael Speaks uh, and also um, the uh, studio led by Professor Francisco Sanin, and we traveled to uh, Medellin in Colombia, South America, and we met kind of, uh, and we met the mayor there, and uh, like many like famous like uh, like Latin American um, architectural urban designers there, and it was quite an amazing experience for me, and I really benefited a lot. Even I built the like long term relationship with Professor Francisco Sanin, and I joined his. Uh, so Benali in 2019 on behalf of Perkins Eastman. Yeah, so I do feel like uh, uh, my graduate study at Syracuse, even though it was only one half year, but it was a great, like a significant time for myself. Yeah, and very beneficial for my, uh, for my like, uh, architectural education as well as my um, professional development, career development. Oh, and also just to, in addition to that, I think Syracuse architecture, like uh, for international students um, with Syracuse uh, MS program, in addition to your uh, five-year professional uh, bachelor degree, you are eligible to apply for the, uh, for the qualification of uh, American architect, architect's license. So like uh, if you, graduate from MS and plus your five year B up, you're eligible, you're, el you're eligible to attend the AIE exam. So once you pass all six exam, uh, you are licensed in US and you can practice uh, either within a big firm or you can practice solely you know, as your own. It's like you can stamp your drawing. Yeah, so overall it was a great experience and I really appreciate it. I'm really thankful to all the professors, all my classmates in Syracuse. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations for your uh, license and you are oh, thank the you. licensed architect now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Professor. Professor Wong Fei, it seems that we have another uh, question here. Yeah. It says you mentioned parametric architecture while yeah. presenting. Can you elaborate more on how it is combined with the course? Yeah, so we have a couple of different uh, workshops on parametric design, but it's, uh, it's all depending on your interest, how deep you want to dive in. And also we have other different uh, um, 
uh, electives is like a uh, beam and many of our MS students, they, they took the course and also uh, advanced building system. And some of them, they took that, although it's required for MR, but it's a very helpful for a lot of MS students to understand how the building system is gonna work. And also uh, within uh, uh, those courses, there are many uh, uh, kind of training on the different kind of parametric kind of uh, simulation and you can you can you can learn and but it's really we open the platform and it's really depending on you and how much you want to take and how much you want to learn and there are many courses that you can really explore on this uh, 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 direction. Great, thank you. Sorry, it it will go up. Um, and it's it's uh, information about up other upcoming events. We're going to have conversations with Dean Speaks. Uh, we're going to have uh, conversations with Career Services and Financial Aid. We're also going to host another event with uh, alumni and current students, so that you know you can see a little more in depth what what happens after uh, you graduate here from Syracuse University. Um, and so uh, with that, uh, I want to thank uh, all of our wonderful participants for joining us today. Um, especially Professor Wang Fei. I know that uh, it is late in the evening in Shanghai, so thank you kindly. Uh, and again, we look forward to seeing you at future events. I'm going to pop a couple of email addresses in here. You're welcome to reach out to us either at the grad program um, or directly to the MS program, and one of us will answer your questions. So thank you. Thanks for coming. Congratulations. Yes, congrats. Thank you. It's a real pleasure to get to see you all here. Thank you, Sana and Kofan again. Thank you, Professor. It was so good to see you.